How's it going, Short Kings? It is week four. Short Kings? No, no, no. Let's let's try that one again. How's it going, Thunderbirds? It is week four, and we have the Saints here at home. But before we do that, we gotta do a little bit of negotiating. We'll be looking at Gary on Conley and Quentin Dunbar again. And again, you know, I think we're going to try to keep Gary on, but I don't think that we're going to be re-signing Quentin. Gary on's salary is going to need to go up a bit, and we will make him a relatively fair offer here. And we need to improve our bonus, so that'll be next week, and I think that we should be able to sign him. Uh, that four-year contract, you know, puts him done at 29, and I think at that point we'd probably be ready to move on. But with Quentin Dunbar being 28 already, um, I mean, he doesn't like what we're offering. And I think we're probably just going to try to trade him away this season. So we'll offer a smidge more and see if he wants to take it. And yeah, Quentin Dunbar is not going to re-sign with the Condors. Taking a look at some salary stuff. Um... You know, our three highest paid players are going to be LaMarcus Joyner, Ty Williams, and Garyon Conley. And I think I had mentioned potentially trading LaMarcus um, and, you know, getting 13 mil a year. And far and away, our highest paid player, I think that uh, we're probably going to go ahead and make that move. So we'll add him to the trade block. You know, he's getting old. He's 29. He's only 85 overall, and that's a lot, a lot of salary. Losing LaMarcus would mean that we only have uh, the rookie in Ross Finley at the free safety spot, but we have a lot of depth here at corner, so we'll probably just find somebody to move to safety. So with Joyner on the trade block, we'll let some teams make some offers. And with our points with John Gruden, we're going to go ahead and hit that offensive line training boost. Get our own line a little bit better. And that will allow us to get a bunch of extra XP. So we're going to have a lot of upgrades uh, coming up here. Few players with upgrades. First, Gary and Conley. We'll give him uh, up to the zone. Puts him to 82 overall. Same thing with Ross Finley, and it'll put him to 77 overall. Cliff Tyson at the left tackle. We'll give him some pass protector. Gets that overall card to a green. Gilbert Isaac can get some pass protector. And Isaiah Johnson will get a little bit of zone as well. He goes up to that 69 overall. We're going to start, you know, scouting offensive line this week. and uh, see if we can find anything crazy. And Dale Goddard might be one of our first looks there. Kind of a gem. And while there's not a lot of depth at left guard, it looks like Jared... I, I honestly will never be able to say this name correctly. But the guy out of Louisiana might be okay. I think it might be O'Shaughnessy, but I... Uh, that's going to cause problems. Maybe the fact that he's 24 means I won't have to worry about drafting him and I won't have to worry about saying his name. With all of our pre-game work completed, let's go ahead and try to take on the Saints. Well, good news is we're back in, what were we calling it, the bird's nest? And, you know, 3-0 and versus a 1-2 and Saints. I mean, I, I think we're going to be pretty dang solid here. If we can continue to get some interceptions in this game, it'll be over before it even starts. We are fortunate enough to be able to kick off, which means getting the ball to start the second half, and we will force a touchback. So New Orleans out to the 25 to start this game. Jacoby Brissett is the apparent uh, starting quarterback for the Saints. So this could be a little bit interesting. Danny Trevathan, like 900,000 interceptions in the first three games. He's looking to uh, get his hands on a couple more balls here. <laughs> Just a slight pause on that one. Good run stop on the first play of the game. And on second down, they're going to go with a screen, and Gary and Conley's there, no problem. Third and 12, we can expect maybe a pass. And oh, I got beat, but we get the sack anyways. Well, that was great from the defense. Dots got in there, 
and got the first sack of his career. So big moment for the rookie. And Jacobs, with some blocking, is going to have a good chance to get us a great return little stiff arm. We're starting this drive at the 46. Remember, Bass is out injured. So again, it'll be the John LeBlanc show. And uh, ooh, okay, injury timeout. Thankfully, it wasn't LeBlanc. We'll run the option, and Hundley's going to keep it. Picks up a block, and Hundley, a lot of speed there, but the diving tackle saves that from being more than 15. Until Bass comes back from injury, this team is going to be majority uh, running as we find Renfro there for a good 10-yarder. We need to make sure that we don't overrun as LeBlanc. Can he make the cut? No, but he gets us that first and goal. I don't li really like our odds here, but we're going to try the toss. LeBlanc doesn't get any blocking. Big third and goal from the nine here. Hundley back to pass, trying to wait and taking a sack. I just didn't see anything soon enough. And by the time I saw it, we already had the pressure on us. So it's fourth and goal, and we're going to settle for a field goal attempt because there's, oof, it wasn't guaranteed that I hit that. And they had a decent little rush off the edge, but... We'll take a 3-0 lead and hope the defense can just get back out there and cause more problems for the Saints. Under three minutes to go in this first quarter, and they're going to open it with a run on this drive. Really, all that I'm hoping for is the opportunity to get a sack as I've just completely left my man wide open. LaMarcus doesn't get... Wow, is this really going to be a touchdown? Up to Joseph, thankfully. We don't give up six. That's 100% on me. Only a little bit embarrassed at that one. Bit on the play action. Thought maybe I could get to the quarterback in time for the sack and then just couldn't recover. They go to the air here and again, it's all on me. We're giving up a touchdown and the Saints take the lead. So we're unable to get it done on offense. Make a couple mistakes on defense and just like that, we're down four. And there's a flag here on the return. Please be a personal foul, maybe a face mask. Fantastic. Thank you, refs. That allows us to start from the 41. Question is, what are we going to get out of it? This is a terrible throw. Give it to LeBlanc on the run here. Second and 10, but there's just nowhere to go. Hoping that we can find somebody here on third and 10. Just waiting. I feel the pressure in the pocket. And we throw a pick. This might be six. LeBlanc, okay. LeBlanc gets the tackle, but... Oh, this is not looking good to start. I desperately need the defense to step up on this drive. They go to the air on first down, and just a drop. Second and ten, they drop back to pass again, and just slotted it right in the zone. Nice pass from Jacoby there. Michael Thomas just... Looking good on that play, and they get the playoff at the very end of the uh, first quarter, and it's a good completion. So into the second, we are down four, and looking like we, you know, might fall down by at least seven here. We're, we're going to bring a little blitz on second three, and the pressure gets there just in time. So we'll have a third down on third and two to hold them to a field goal. Wow. Wow. We are in trouble. I'm going to say we absolutely need a touchdown on this drive, and that's a terrible... Where was the blocking? Terrible way to start the drive. It's not like we're playing the craziest defense, but we are unable to do a whole lot here. Thankfully, Brett Hundley able to get it done with his legs for the second time today. Not sure if we'll have the accuracy, but we're going to try to throw. And we have Renfro wide open, but he can't hold on to it through that contact. Good defense. See what we can do here on this third down. Oh, that's another terrible pass. Inaccurate, and it was a bad route. Brett Hundley's one of five, and we're going to have to punt this one away. So not the greatest punt, but not the worst either. And it really needs to be the defense stepping up. As LaMarcus, wow. Wow. Oh, I thought he made the catch. Thank goodness. On second and 10, the drop back to pass. And I don't know exactly what I'm doing there, but we gave up way too much. It's third and four, and I could absolutely see them putting this one on the ground. 
But instead, they go to the air, and it's a deep ball and a catch. Oh, no. Michael Thomas is kind of just obliterating us at this point. As they're going to go with a screen, and now he's putting on blocks. Thankfully, we only gave up two yards on that play. This is a draw, and well, we destroyed him in the backfield. He just popped out of it. They go to the air again here. I see a man wide open on the streak. Joseph can't get to it, and it's another touchdown. The crowd has been booing, and I gotta say at this point, it's rightfully so that they're doing it because the product on the field here is embarrassing. Really, really wishing that we had Terrell Bass back, but oh my goodness. It's second and 18 after that sack. Such a ridiculous uh, attempt there. Thankfully, we find Hunter Renfro. Somehow, that was only our second completion of the day as well. Give it to LeBlanc for the first down, and it's time to go into the hurry up. See if we can catch him sleeping with a quick little, quick little four verts. And no, we'll just take another goddamn sack. So we're back at second and 18, and... Hoping maybe to find Renfro. No, we take another sack. We have no offensive line right now. It's not even like we're playing a ridiculously good team here. We're just kind of getting slapped as Renfro. Wow, I don't know how he got free for that one. That gives us some work to do. And we find Renfro again. I think he got out of bounds. That should stop the clock. If we manage to pull out a touchdown on this drive, I'm going to be amazed. Uh, there's Renfro again. It's just a bad pass. It looks like they want to bring pressure, so we got to be quick to get rid of this one. We're going to throw it up for Ty. And Williams in the back of the end zone. Wow, just overthrown. Lucky that one wasn't picked. Another third and ten here. And trying to wait. We might have Hunter Renfro. Dang. Fourth and ten. We're going to try the field goal. Power's good, accuracy's okay, and we just cannot find the end zone so far in this game. For a team that leads the league in interceptions, I gotta say I'm pretty embarrassed with how we've played so far. One timeout left for the Saints, and at this point I gotta say if we give up points, I am going to be scared of this second half as we give up another nice pass there in field goal range. Another first down. Guys open all over the field, and we are hoping maybe they make a mistake with the clock. They only have one timeout left, so we might be able to get lucky, but goodness, we're playing like doo-doo right now and just giving up pass after pass. Well, with 15 seconds here, the Saints just took their final timeout, so this could be us getting lucky if we can maybe get a stop, keep them in bounds. Uh, the inbounds thing, not working there, though. Jacoby Brissett is, I think, 10 of 12 or 12 of 14 or something like that. We just can't get this guy to make a mistake, and there's the tackle inbounds. They screwed it up. Oh, we got lucky there. So that clock mismanagement that I was hoping for, uh, you know, comes to fruition. And walking into the locker rooms, you can see down 15. We have given up 239 passing yards. That's, that's not okay. Thankfully, we are set to receive the ball to start the third quarter. So maybe the comeback can start now. Really only need two unanswered scores. Um, but it's obviously easier said than done. Trying to run to start this drive off, and LeBlanc, well, got positive yards at the very least. Our running back has certainly not been having an easy time. Can he get some blocks out here on the edge? Oh, just absolutely missed on the one that might have sprung the touchdown, but we get the first down. Trying the read option now. LeBlanc will get it. He can follow his tight end, and John is going to get another solid carry, though, so starting to pick it up for him. Try to go to the air on first down here, and let's just dump it off. Give it to Jacobs and take the positive yards. Boys like that should also open up the uh, the running game a little bit as John again 
I think got another first down. And the refs are going to spot us a little bit short, so third and one, actually. We're going to try the counter to LeBlanc. He gets the blocks. Blocks holding downfield. Man misses, and it looks like we're just at the red zone now, so LeBlanc really picking it up here. We'll look for a quick pass on first down, and oh, I'm lucky that wasn't picked off. Jacobs comes in, and we'll try another counter. Gosh, that took way too long to develop. Not calling that one again. So for the umpteenth time this game, we have to go for it on third and a mile, and the pass is inaccurate, so uh, we're held to a field goal. It is really unfortunate that we can only put the ball through the uprights. If we don't find the end zone, we're losing this game. At this point, what's going through my mind is at what point do we have to uh, start going for onside kicks? Because we are certainly in trouble, and Jacoby Brissett is just tearing us up. That's some nice moves. And another first down. This so far is our only game of the season where we haven't had a turnover. It looks like a run. And thankfully, we'll eat that one up. Second and 10. They go to the ground again, and we've got him at least in a third down. A chance to get a stop here. If the defense wanted to choose a time to show up, this would be it. Let's see if they can make a play. Dude, I had the pick, and I just screwed it up. It is so frustrating that I'm playing like this in, in a game where we could really use a win. Looks an awful lot like it's going to be a run, but it's a play action, so... Kind of beat. I honestly, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Jacoby is now throwing at 90% on the game. That just seems ridiculous to me. And I think even holding this Saints team to a field goal might be the end of us as we head to the fourth quarter. Um, I mean, uh, the score shows we're getting absolutely, uh, you know, destroyed, I think is a good word. At least we've got him in a third and goal here. There'll be five wide from the uh, the four. And... Oh, well, at least we forced the incompletion. I thought I had to jump on that ball. Maybe we can get lucky and block this one, but I got to expect that we go back down. And, yep, 24-9 to nine in the fourth quarter is pretty rough. Go into the air to start this one off. We do find Wilson, and we got to go hurry up for the rest of this game. Go into the air. They're bringing pressure. I see it. Question is, can we find it? Hunter Renfro off to the races here across the 20 and gets out of bounds at the 15-yard line. We finally break 100 yards passing on the day, but now we're going to lose it on the ground. And again, just hoping that we can find something on the verts. Here's our R1. Wilson has the first and goal. That should have been a touchdown. LeBlanc off the hurry up. Does he have the speed to get to the corner? No. We'll see if the blocking holds up this time as we're still in the hurry up. LeBlanc fighting finally. We find the end zone and of course LeBlanc is injured in doing so. Thankfully for LeBlanc, it's just a peck strain so we can keep him in. But it seems like we can't really catch a break. If the defense can't get a stop now, it's game over. Simple as that. They're going to be probably be running the ball a lot here, and that's a terrible way to start. Felt like we were destined to lose this one from the start, as their passing game has been phenomenal. I know for a fact Jacoby Brissett is not that good of a passer. 19 of 22 at this point. Make it, uh, what, 20 of... 24, 20 to 23. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Dude's playing like the greatest Hall of Famer that ever lived. As they go with a draw this time and another f***ing first down. There is literally nothing that we can do to stop this offense. As I just got stuck. Why are you kidding me? We get... <laughs> oh, this game. <laughs> well, with three minutes to go, I guess that happened, but... I think it's a little bit too little too late, as I can't find Nelson there. Really only one deep safety here. We'll see if we can find a man. We're going to heat it, yeet it up for Ty Williams. Oh, wow, terrible, 
Terrible throw. Under three minutes to go here. Trying to find a man. And let me guess. Intercepted? No, but it's fourth down. Fourth and ten. If we don't get this, it's game over. And we do find Ty Williams. Thankfully. Bad news is in. We are running out of time. Renfro can't hold on to that one. And it'll take an actual miracle at this point to be successful. Hatcher uh, came down with it. Wow. We get to the two-minute warning, and I, we're at the four-yard line after that ridiculous catch. And we'll see if somebody can get into the end zone or if we can just take another damn sack. I have half a second in the pocket here. Every single play. It feels like it's not even close to an exaggeration at this point. The sooner I don't have to play with Brett Huntley, uh, the better. Because this is just a failed experiment. As there's another dropped pass. It's fourth and goal with a minute and 30, and we have to go for it. Which is terrible news, because we're going to get f***ing sacked. We have the absolute worst offensive line in the league. After this game, I'm thinking we're just going to blow it up and start from scratch. Because these cats... Obviously don't know how to win. Just let him score. At this point, it doesn't matter. I am absolutely embarrassed. This is by no means a great defensive line that we're facing off against, but the team just struggles to do anything. So we finally get a double team and we finally get a good play, but it's far too late. This move's not going to work, but we'll try the two-point conversion. And, oh, LeBlanc gets in. Well, seven-point game with a minute to go. Well, this is uh, a big opportunity for us. See if we can get the onside kick. I might have screwed that one up. A, honestly, a decent little attempt, but we got a minute and two, and we got to hope to have something good happen. We know that they're going to be running. The question is, can we get some... Sur oh, are you kidding me? This team, dude. We have made the Saints look like the absolute greatest team in the world. And I am real tired of it. Uh, definitely not bringing that one out. The only hope is that they make a, another foolish mistake. And who knows, this could be it. Ty Williams, can he come down with it? No, having to play defense on that one. I'm just going to throw up four verts until maybe we get lucky. Um, Williams has a step on his man. Will the ball get there? No, it's overthrown. Only one deep safety on this one. Third and ten. And the pressure's there. Oh, what a terrible throw. That's the game. It's intercepted. And I really cannot wait until I don't have to use Brett Hundley anymore. Well, if they want to kneel it out, that'd be great. But the AI in this game doesn't know how to uh, how to play well. So I wouldn't be surprised if they ended up scoring another touchdown off of a, a busted play. Thankfully, this game's over. I am real upset with the way that every single phase of this game went. Um, we couldn't stop the run. We couldn't stop the pass. We couldn't run. We couldn't pass. I think that's all of it. The only thing that we had, I guess, was field goal kicking, but you never want that. So it's our first loss of the season, and it's an embarrassing one at home. Brett Hundley, as expected, is pretty damn garbage. I don't even want to... Uh, no point in looking at his stats. The Blogs only got 65 yards. That's garbage receiving-wise. Renfro and Williams do okay, I guess. And on defense, Doss gets a sack, which is okay, I guess. And Danny Trevathan gets another interception. Graham Glasgow gets an upgrade after the game. So at least we get something. And immediately we put it into pass protector. And I'm going to be putting literally everything for our offensive line into pass protector. That's the type of game that we hope that somehow we can put behind us. But uh, I, I hope the team is as stunned as I am. Thankfully, that's going to do it for this episode. If you want to watch the Condors get slapped around the field for four quarters, feel free to subscribe. 
Or if you want to watch some of my other teams get obliterated, head on over to twitch.tv slash poonmaster69. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. My name is Poonmaster. You guys are the Thunderbirds. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.